Welcome back to another week of my life vlog. I had quite the morning. I worked out. Sophie's here. We're having our Kinsey Sophie Christmas day. It's the week before Christmas. So a lot of things are happening. And I have Soph all day, today, tonight, and then the morning. Because we're having a sleepover. We're having a sleepover. We do this every single year. This is my niece, because you guys are new here. Subscribe if y'all are new. She loves the camera and literally begs to vlog 24 seven. So we're gonna stop at Target really fast to get stuff to bake today, and then we're going to American Girl, which I'm really excited, that's my personal favorite. I wanna show you guys my American Girl doll. Oh yeah, please do. And her name's Andrea? Yes. Cute, her hair is so beautiful. We're doing the brunch where you like bring your doll. If you guys haven't done this, you need to. This is like the best thing ever. She's so cute and pretty. We're gonna pick out a new outfit for her today. She's that's a that. princess. She is a princess. Okay, off to Target we go. Tuesday. This week is so, Sophie's getting us straws. This week is so thrown off because I worked all weekend so that I could take like Monday, Tuesday off to be with Sophie, obviously. But we are heading off to the ranch. I have my iced coffee, so we got her pink drink. She's just throwing trash out and like standing outside. We're going to the ranch. It's Sophie's first time there. She's gone, she's gone riding with me a bunch actually, but she hasn't been to this ranch. So I can't believe you haven't been to this ranch yet. The vlog. Oh. My friend Liz is meeting us. Liz is also moving in a couple weeks, which I'm like really sad about. Oh. If you guys haven't listened to the podcast episode with her, you have to. It's really good. She has like the best dating advice. Like if you guys are like making your New Year's resolution to date, you need to Hello. listen to that. Hello, girly. Do you want to show them what you got? I got an iced coffee, no classic, two pump sugar free. Oh no, sorry, two pump peppermint <laughs> syrup and a splash of cream. And I got a pink drink with mango foam. No, it's not. It looks like it foam. does look like mango foam, but. It's just sweet cream, it. cold foam. No, try the foam. Well, I know what the, oh, that does taste good. That does taste kind of like mango-y, though. Yeah. Um, she's been adding sweet cream, cold foam to her pink drinks. Uh -huh. So, we're off. So, have we had such a good Christmas day together? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Off we go. We're listening to Country. She likes flower shops. We're listening to Ernest. Yeah. Yeah. I do a lot. You do? She's wearing a velour, like, tracksuit top. She forgot her pants, jeans, and these cowboy boots that I bought her. It's like amazing. You would never guess that she was my niece. You would literally never guess. She's dressed just like me when I was her age. 
So if do you that's think, true. That is true. Do you think we have so much in common? Yeah. Yeah, we do. We like pink. We just up the same almost. Mhm. Mm and yesterday she said she was she had a blonde American girl doll so she could dress her up as Dolly Parton. Oh wait. Let me show you guys my American girl doll. Oh, we did. Oh. So that was before, and this is after. So cute, right? And we'll show you her little bonjour. We'll show them that later because we gotta go or else we're gonna be late. It's a hat. So cute. We got a little Parisian outfit at the store yesterday. It is adorable, guys. It is adorable. Hi y'all, sorry I have not been filming that much this week. I'm currently making my coffee. It's now Thursday, so I didn't vlog yesterday, but honestly, I just have been doing so much work with a friend of mine and it's like boring to film. I'm like editing and you know, whatever. Anyways, um, I'm making my coffee. I had a call this morning for insurance. <laughs> Literally fun parts of being an adult. Did the sauna, I've been getting up early, reading, doing all the things. It's currently December 21st and I so badly just like want to be celebrating Christmas. I wish that I would have filmed a what I'm giving for Christmas, but I guess I'm just gonna tell y'all. I love doing these kinds of videos because gift giving is like my number one love language. Guys, I know I have the influencer accent, like so, I, I invented the influencer accent, it's so bad. And I wanna stop talking like with the high pitched voice at the end. Hi, but, oh, no, 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 Fitzy. But, um, you know, we're working on it, okay? First matter of business, I watched the Martha Stewart Masterclass. I've watched it two times, I'm surprised it hasn't been more, I'm trying so hard, because part one as of right now is out, part two isn't out, and I'm not kidding, it like changed my life. Like. It, it, nothing new necessarily like not things that I didn't already like know I wanted to do or like plans or whatever But like more than ever I feel like I'm just like really motivated work-wise and in the next year Like that is like my number one priority and not that it hasn't been like I've always had like a very high work ethic But I just feel like now I'm like ready to take things to the next level if that makes sense um, But I highly recommend the Martha Stewart masterclass I mean I should really work with them because I have told every single person in my personal life that like you need to be watching this because it's just so good masterclass in general is so good and it's shot so well and like I love it like you can learn so much I did um what else did I watch I watched Alice Winters um one on like cooking and it's like I did the farmer's market one like last year and that one really impacted me every honestly masterclass I watched really does I did one on gardening too and I loved them and they're just shot so beautifully something about them is so calm Anyways, what I gave for Christmas. Um, my mom just got some Abercrombie stuff. My family is one of those families that just like sends links to what we want. So it's just kind of like, I mean, whatever. I'll tell the things that are exciting. I'll tell you guys what I got Sophie. So I got Sophie Uggs, cause she wanted the Ugg mini, like the chestnut, like Kenzie is what she said. So I got her those and then I got these blue ribbons and I tied the blue ribbons to the back of them. And they're so cute and I gave her extra in case she like trashes them, but I love them. I'm gonna add some to mine and then this is like the big, big part of it, okay? She is like the biggest Bad Bunny fan and really wanted to go to Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny is the week of her birthday. Her parents were gonna take her and they're not taking her anymore. And then I was like, well, maybe I'll take her for her birthday. Cause when I saw it came out, I figured I'd end up being at the Bad Bunny concert with Sophie that week. But then I was like, what if I just get her Bad Bunny tickets for Christmas? Because, little backstory, I feel like so much of my life is literally just me recreating my childhood. But my uncle is in radio, so growing up, like Alyssa's dad, Alyssa and Austin's dad, we would always go to like every single Jingle Ball concert and we would take a limo and we would do Frisco and we would like do the whole thing. And we were like not like bougie like that literally at all, but it was just like what we did because he was like, I think he was, he was like, he had like a really good job there. This was like Kid Chronic days, like back in the day, head of Kiss FM. And now he works for iHeart, I think. But now he works for iHeart. But anyways, um, because I had an uncle on radio, I grew up going to so many concerts. Like the big perk is that you get 
concert tickets either for free or like really discounted or he just like has the tickets so I just grew up going to so many concerts and that was like such a big part of my child and it's still a big part of my life I, that's why I love concerts now like if I could be at a concert every night I would be so um I was just so excited because I kept thinking like oh my god we're approaching the time we're like Sophie's first concert and like I'm very excited for this so we thought about Shania Twain last fall and then I was out of town and then I was like okay I really want to take her to Eras and I'm still trying to take her to like the New Orleans like I want to go so bad if any brand has New Orleans tickets I will sell my soul okay I just need to take Sophie Sophie has to get to Eras She's a Taylor Swift fan now after Eras came to Dallas. So anyways, I got her Bad Bunny tickets and I put them in a card and then like I got one of those scratch off things that says Bad Bunny tickets and she just like takes a coin, scratches it off and sees it. So that card is underneath the Ugg. So when she opens that, you know, that's what I'm most excited for for Christmas. My dad, I got him a cologne that he wanted. He's so like, what, how boring, but that's what he wanted. And um, that Steelers ornament. My stepmom, I got her the No Particular Order, um, which is Margot Lee's brand, cocktail napkins that are conversational starters. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Um, they're genius, so good, love them. So I got her that, and then I got her some like gift sets to try out like different products. My sister, I got her Tacovas, which she has already. My brother, I got him a watch that he really wanted. What else? My brother-in-law, I got him a Dallas hat that he wanted. Again, like it's kind of boring because it's like everyone sent me the links. Also, I got a friend of mine on TikTok shop. So you guys can actually make money if you're posting TikToks, like promoting or like just with the product and you tag it. You guys can actually make commission now off of the products. And I have to approve you. So you just like go to request being there and then I approve you. I approve pretty much everyone, but I just have a set to where I have to approve. Um, and then yeah, you guys can now make some money. But other than... Martha Stewart, getting a lot of work done with a friend of mine, um, and oh, I have a new consultant that I'm working with that I'm really excited about, that I've always wanted to work with her, but we just, like, with the Okai, we, like, couldn't afford it. It was just, like, expensive, and now I'm, like, in a place with a friend of mine where it, like, makes sense. So, yeah, there's been updates. I'm getting my hair done today, and I have appointments. So, like, I'll show you guys, because I just, oh, my God, I've just been feeling, when I'm, my hair is so grown out and just, like, needs to be redone so bad. Like, you know when it's just so rough, like... Bad. The Kate Davis episode just went up too. It's such a good one. Go listen and watch it. It's such a good episode. I got the Ray-Ban Meta glasses, but not just any pair of glasses, okay? That's a camera lens. They film, okay? I am shocked. I had to call these like really great people and they were saying they film all their TikToks for their TikTok shop on these glasses. And I was like, wait, what? And I think even for like house guests, like we have upped our production so much, especially just for like marketing in general. The videos are looking so much better the marketing the instagram everything and i love like the clips when like when i'm meeting people and like how we're like taking photos and stuff whatever but i was like how am i gonna make the studio ones look cool but i think it's gonna be me wearing these and then going and greeting the guest when they arrive at the studio and just filming so much stuff i think this is amazing and what i really like about it is a lot of the time when you're filming like you can't be as in the moment and then you're thinking and it's annoying and you're stressful especially with the podcast because like there's just so many things going on at once and I think these are going to solve my issues. So I'm downloading the app. Um, we're going to insert some clips so you guys can actually see. I just did a deal with Ray-Ban for the podcast the past um, month, just in December. I, we're still doing ads, and I love Ray-Ban anyways. But I wish that they would have had these in the deal because they're so cool. Look, it's a charging case. Like, how crazy is that? That's actually insane. so much better she didn't actually style it but we were just like ready to go and get out i listened to like four more martha stewart podcast episodes today 
Um, I just finished wrapping all of my gifts. As you guys saw, my camera died in the middle of it. And it's almost 10 p.m. I want to get to bed. I've been cleaning up my house, getting things organized. I actually wasn't really feeling like Christmas. And then I realized that all my friends are going home to our hometown, which is like 45 minutes away. And then I was like, wait, why don't I just do that? So I'm going to go home on Saturday, which is Christmas Eve Eve. Spend some time with some friends, family, and it's going to feel more like Christmas. Because now that I live here and I don't like go home for Christmas, like something about being in my own house, like around those days, it just feels weird. So I'm doing that. I think it is a must. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm trying to drink a lot of water. I don't wanna say winter uglies because I don't like saying that about myself or other people, but I just feel like my skin is so dry, but also I tan today and like look at my, I forgot to do my hands. Like honestly, I'm just a mess. That's the problem. So we're gonna go. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's the Friday before Christmas. This is my last workout for a little bit. It's so gloomy, which I personally love. Oh, so you love that vibe right there. All right, y'all, happy Friday. I'm wearing my new boots from Jacoba's. Sorry. Okay, they're so amazing. They have a thicker heel. Sorry for the water. I'm moving some flowers over. How cute, right? They have a thicker heel than um, my other Jacobas, and I love them. I'm actually about to have a really cute little cousin Christmas afternoon, and this is gonna be the end of this vlog. Guys, I'm feeling just a little redundant. I'm getting so bored of my vlogs. Like, it's the same thing over and over. I work out, I work, I go to the ranch, you know, whatever. In the new year, I really wanna do vlogs that are more themed, so like an entire vlog on, um, like starting my new garden, where I go everywhere, an entire vlog start to finish of like hosting a dinner party. Like I want to do all that. So it'll give me like a little more direction and it's like very like the stuff that I like, like the content I consume guys, the people that I follow online right now and keep up with. <laughs> okay, guys, it's my neighbor inviting me to a Christmas party. Probably just to be nice, but because okay. I literally watch like Homeworthy YouTube channel that's all Home tours, I consume mainly like Martha Stewart, people who garden, things like that. And I know it, I can't like fully be that because you guys will lose complete interest in me and be like, this woman is 70. Um, but yeah, I just want it to be more of like topical, more of like, you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm excited to have a week off of vlogging just because I feel like it's going to like get me really excited to vlog again and re-inspired and like, you know, I won't be showing the same thing over and over again. So Merry Christmas, guys. I hope you guys have a fabulous or had a fabulous Christmas. Look at my flowers. They're so stunning. I'll put them over here. I hope you guys have a fabulous Christmas or already had a fabulous Christmas. And I hope that you're resting and relaxing this week before the new year. But I love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. President Martha Stewart is entering the chat, okay? President Martha Stewart, who lives on Nancy Myers Vineyard, who is best friends with Dolly Parton. That is actually my 2024 vision, and that's what I see for myself.